When we study the Second Temple period, especially the period of Roman occupation of Israel, one of the most important lessons we have to keep in mind is that till today, even with the state of Israel, and even with Israel having the largest Jewish population in the world today, we are still living in the Galut, in the diaspora, caused by the Roman destruction, which means that any lessons we learn any from that story are extremely applicable to us today. And it's amazing, actually, if you open the book, if you look at Josephus and what the rabbis say in the Talmud about what's going on in the Second Temple period, you see very clearly that there's strong parallels between the situation in the Jewish world in general, and especially in the land of Israel thousands of years ago, to what is going on today. And if you look in the Second Temple period, we see that the only thing holding the Jewish people together were the rabbis, that central authority, the government was extremely weak, that Israel really wasn't an independent country. One could make the same argument today, actually. But that there was a tremendous amount of factionalism going on within the Jewish world. We didn't have so much secular Jews in the Roman times, but we had Jews who were into Hellenistic culture, Jews who were following the Sadducees, that offshoot splinter sect of Judaism that we've talked about previously. We had Jews who were following the rabbis, the mainstream, and it seems like the majority of Jews were basically just trying to make it through the day, mind their own business, and survive. But we also had all kinds of extremist groups. We had religious extremists, we had nationalist extremists, we had religious nationalist extremists, and you can literally almost take any group out of Josephus' narrative of the Second Temple period and find an exact parallel to what's going on in the Jewish world today. And that's a very, very important lesson for us to remember that so much of the actions of their fathers are assigned to us, even in negative ways. So many of the negative interactions and the frictions and the disunity that was taking place back then still plagues us until today. And of course, it leads us to the most important lesson we have to remember when dealing with this whole period of time, that the, that the disaster of what was the destruction of the Second Temple and the subsequent exile and the Roman persecutions that followed was first and foremost a byproduct of the, of the factionalism and the disunity and the infighting within the Jewish people. The Romans were just a symptom of a much deeper problem.